let me go to my ratchet queen, which is uh sexy red. You know, me and her, we don't got no beef. But we all know that sexy reds. Oh damn! Let me zoom out a little bit. Pause. Hey, we all know that sexy reds uh, sex tape got um, exposed. I don't believe that she's she was a part of leaking it at all. You know what I mean? And by the way, if you wonder what my commentary was about that, um, I, you know, I don't have a problem with Sexy Red. I support Sexy Red for what she is. I think Sexy Red is the epitome of what a lot of what female rap has turned into. Female rap is prostitute rap. So if you see the worst elements or the most extreme elements or the most radical elements like a Sexy Red where women are bragging about the STDs they got, women are saying they're the raw dog queen. You know where that comes from? That comes from you liking songs like, you know, with all due respect, I love Cardi B, but she put out a song called WAP. Like, if women are running around talking about this wet-ass pussy, there's somebody that's going to say, oh, fuck all that wet-ass pussy. That's light. I'm about to show them the wet-ass pussy and my pussy pink, the booty brown, even though that was not the case, but it is what it is. Anyway, Sexy Red addressed uh, the video that came out. I told you. You know, after we, we did a thorough investigation of that video that came out, first of all, we believe is revenge porn. So we don't agree with it. We believe she's fucking with some lower, some really bottom feeders um, of the industry. I, not even of the industry. She's fucking with bottom feeder hood niggas. And I'm going to just be honest with you. She's way too lit to be fucking with people with nothing to lose. As you grow up and as you go forward in life, you, the ultimate challenge most of us is going to face is to try to find a partner that has equally enough to lose as you. You know why that's important? They're not going to get into a mudslinging contest. When somebody don't got nothing to lose, they're doing expose, exposés. I'm going to expose you. You know why the motherfuckers expose a person A's exposing person B? Because person A don't got nothing to lose. They don't care if they're shame. They don't care about shame. They don't care if they look bad. They're just trying to capitalize off person B's fame, right? And um, unfortunately, you know, I think a lot of dudes, we learned that lesson. Yo, if you're dealing with, with you know what I mean? Like, shit, I used to be the fly or king. I'm flying chicks out, blah, blah, blah. You know what they all did? They exposed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, again, you get to realize you have to have some type of responsibility. And that's that's the advice I was trying to give to her. You know what I mean? I've been through it. And again, I'm, this, is not, it's, this is not something where I'm trying to bring her down because we all learn this. Sexy Red, who's I think she's real authentic. I think she's a dope person. I don't have to agree with her ways. And I'm just not going to pinpoint her. And th 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 that's my only thing with Sexy Red. I'm not going to pinpoint her. I see her like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Maybe you don't think she's as attractive. Maybe you think she's she's icky or like she got like an STD. Bro, I don't give a fuck what you think. They're rapping about straight debauchery, whoredom. She's doing it too. She's just look like she's living it. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to be a hypocrite, right? Um, however, I do think she should upgrade with the amount, uh, the, the type of people she deals with. And I sent out a couple tweets basically saying, hey, listen. I know you love fucking with, like, niggas on house arrest, but how about you fucking, you know, just kind of upgrade your taste? Because at this point, while you're still trying to be real, these men are trying to take advantage of you. Like, you know what I mean? A dude went live with her laying on the bed for literally 40 viewers just to show that he had sex with her, which is like, dude, you know what I mean? And, and, and that's another thing, too. Like, put it like this. If you're the guy fucking sexy red, Drake is gifting her $200,000 worth of gifts. $50,000 watch, give her cash, blah, 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 blah. She's getting all these type of things. If you're the nigga that's fucking Sexy Red, you know what you want to do? Chill in the cut. Anything Sexy Red gets, you'll probably be a byproduct of it. So these niggas trying to do the clout thing, it kind of just reemphasizes that everybody's chasing fame. And a lot of times, most of these motherfuckers, they really want fame more than the money. Because if you're fucking Sexy Red, I'm pretty sure, like, she got it now. She's going to be, like, really, um... It, uh, funny Marco, thank you for the, the 10 subs. I don't know if that's real funny, Marco, but I appreciate you, brother. And by the way, Astro um, Wolves, thank you for the five. Joy Man, thank you for the five. Damn, Oil School, thank you for the 10. These are all gifted subs. And by the way, Playful Anxiety, uh, thank you for the uh, five as well. So what I was saying with, like, Sexy Red is, like, yo, she just has to up, update her taste. And I know some of y'all really hate what she represents. I'm not sitting here, and, and I heard people say I'm simping for not getting on her. I'm just not going to be a hip hypocrite. If I get on Sexy Red, I got to get on Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. 
all of these women are sexualized. You get what I mean? And um, yeah, it, it's really like that. Anyway, she responded to it, and this was her video. You know, granted, if you didn't see the actual porn, porno or the her sex tape, whatever they're calling it, you know, she says her booty hole brown and the pussy's pink. You know, the the, the pussy happened to be like, you know, what I mean, dark charcoal, and then well, actually, the, the the booty hole was dark charcoal, and the pussy looked black. You know, what I mean, it was a little bit. You no, know, it, it is what it is. This is her explaining why the color didn't match her song lyrics. Why do I see them ass little kids talk about my coochie not pink? Why, now, I'm brown. Why would the outside of my coochie be pink? Can you make it make sense? That's how I know y'all don't get no ass, nothing. Why would the fuck the outside of my coochie be pink? Not that y'all was thinking that that's sick. No, the outside is not pink, dumb ass. If you get some coochie and you see what the fuck going on, you're going to see what I'm saying. Common sense. Now, next question, Tamika. Next question, Tamika. Why do I see... Now, here's the thing that I think most of y'all have to acknowledge. And by the way, Sexy Red, this is not me. You know, by the way, I, I like... Again, I keep having to say I like Sexy Red because I... You know, I'm not the guy who... You know, I think she's just being real and authentic. I don't want to be the person who's just trying to diss her for no reason. She seems like she be doing her thing. I don't give a fuck. Here's what I got to tell all y'all who are fans. When you hear these rappers, especially female rappers, right? And they're saying they got wet ass pussy. They'll twerk on the dick. You know what I mean? They're going to waterboard it or whatever the fuck they be talking about. Half of these chicks, they, they're like a fucking starfish in bed. They don't do shit. You know what I mean? I think people are shocked that, you know, she's saying... Pound town, I'm going to pound town. Yeah. All these chicks talk all that shit, and when it comes time for them to get dick, all they do is just fucking close their eyes and just lay on their back. That's for the most part. So the majority of these women who are sexualized, you might think they're like sex queens or like some fucking porn stars. No, they're just regular people. And, you know, I see people trying to like critique that because they expected her to be some all-time freak. No, that's music. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, she probably lays on her back and gets dicked down by a bunch of niggas with ankle monitors. Like, you know what I mean? What do you think she was doing? Like, fucking, like, like tricks like Pinky? Like, or tricks like motherfucking, I don't know, you think she was sucking dick like uh, Tiana Trump? Or I don't know what y'all think she was doing. So, again, I I don't really judge her for it. Um, but obviously other people do. Okay? What y'all feeling about that? Yeah. Some of y'all 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 clearly don't like the fact that it feels like falls advertising, right? Bro, have you seen the sex tape of any female rapper that lived up to like what they've said in records? You get what I mean? Like No, it doesn't happen like that. Somebody said, Well, Act, you just commended her for living her raps. Yeah, no, no, I commend her from living her raps because like she's on the whole shit. Like <clears throat> she said she's on the whole shit. A video comes out that validates her on the whole shit. I'm not mad. Now, some of y'all think she's some sexual queen. No. Half of these chicks, like, bro, they're not porn stars. Somebody says, uh, Dub V says he wouldn't hit her with a 10-foot pole. Really? Chat, would y'all fuck Sexy Red? Let me get a little pole real quick. Would y'all fuck her? So I said, I would hit, no, no, bro, my commentary has nothing to do with me hitting. Like, I'm going to be honest, I would never hit a sexy red raw. Like, oh my God, hell no. Nah. Like, <laughs> fuck them. You know what I mean? I would never, yo, chat, yo, I'm going to be honest. I would, yo, there's certain type of chicks, like, you could look at them and you'd be like, yo, bro, I can't hit that raw. <laughs> Or if you do hit a chick like Sexy Red Raw, it's like you know you're rolling the dice. Somebody said, gotta have a glove for that. Somebody said, I'm sprinting to pound town. Somebody says, Krishan be moving, bro, but she crazy, though. Is Krishan, like, Krishan's sex tape did leak. It, does she seem like she was, like, going crazy? I don't know. 
Somebody says Sukiana is a female rapper who do what she say. I mean, she is, but like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, there was like a discolored thing happened with the squirting, and, and I don't know about that one. Shit was green. It's all good. All right. Anyway, uh, is there anything else I didn't mention about Sexy Red? I like her. I like her. I'm, I'm sorry. I like her. Again, I'm not simping for her. I am accepting the fact that a ratchet woman like her, who was probably broke before, probably fucking niggas in, like, with all due respect to her, fucking a bunch of drug dealers in trap houses before she had any type of fame. You get what I mean? Like, she was, she, she might have been the pass around. You feel me? I'm not mad that she's gotten some fame and she's still keeping it as authentic to what her, what her you know, um, living situation used to be. The only thing I say to people who hate her is that you what you hate about her is created by the things you love by other artists. It's cute when Ice Spice says she's in the deli showing her panties, but it ain't cute when the girl is not as cute as Ice Spice saying it, or it's Sexy Red saying, she ain't saying she's showing her pants. She's saying she's just getting raw dogged. <laughs> and she looks like this. You know what I mean? So, again, y'all got to pick what y'all want, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is us dude. We make exceptions. Like, unfortunately, us dudes, we're so weak for the flesh. It's like, if you see a beautiful woman, like, sometimes they might be the biggest whore. But because they're beautiful, you're like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Everybody's done that. Keep, keep it a beat. Let me see. One in the chat. I'm going to see who, who going to keep it real. Have you ever decided whether or not to use a condom based on how pretty the girl was? Keep it on it. If y'all niggas lie on this, we could just move on. Keep it on it, right? Like, please, if you're fucking Ice Spice, are you using a condom? Most of y'all going to say no. Y'all fucking sexy red? Y'all using a condom? Most of y'all going to say yes. Let's keep it a bean. Now, to be honest, you really don't know who might really got something, even though I ain't gonna lie, Sexy Red raps that she got something. Us men, a lot of times, we do a lot of bullshit ass, like, you know, like, aesthetic test to kind of take really dumb risks. Child, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Chat, put like this. Put like this. If you're fucking Ruby Rose, you pulling out? No! Now, if you're fucking Sukiana, first of all, you know you're going to have a condom on it. You know you're not even, yo, you get what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Now, granted, whoever has an STD or whatever, whatever, really just might not matter. It doesn't matter about looks. But the reality is that us men, a lot of times, we judge a lot of behavior based on looks. And I'm telling y'all, if Sexy Red was just, if Sexy Red looked like Ice Spice, a lot of what she's saying, even though you would still call her a hoe, you would just be like, yo, I, I know she's a raw dog queen, but shit, I'm definitely going raw dog with her. You know what I mean? It is it is what it is. Exactly. Look at this nigga. He says, sorry, Ruby, I'm going all in. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody say, yo, yo, 2019 Ruby getting a raw 2020. Wait. What's the difference between 2019 Ruby and 2023? Somebody said 2019 Ruby is getting a raw. 2023 Ruby is getting a condom. It is what it is. Anyway, all right. Um, I think we're going to the sexy red topic. Salute to her, by the way. Um, me, I just don't want her to get used by a bunch of broke ass, bum ass hood niggas who won't protect her brand. You know what I mean? Again, you know, she's popping, and even if we don't like what she represents, she has an opportunity to change the fortune and the lives of her family members and people around her. And listen, when someone gets famous in any family or any group, that person has an opportunity to bless others. And I hope she could continue for as long as she can. And when I see like stupid ass hood niggas who are, you know what I mean? They just want recognition from like, like their small friend group fucking up the bag. I'm like, yo, come on. It works vice versa, right? It's like a dude with some girl and the girl's fucking on the bag. It's like, you're going to look at her like, what the fuck are you doing? The nigga has his bag and he's probably helping a lot of people out. What are you doing? All right. Somebody says, yo, Ak is promoting AIDS. What are you talking about? Chief Sosa says, tell him about Ruri. What do you mean about Ruri? 
Like, r- what about Ruri? Nigga, you know I'm reading comments, right? Like, you know we're live, right? Like, I'm reading comments. What are y'all talking about? I'm going to read the fucking donations, my nigga. Relax. <laughs> First of all, there's a way to donate straight on Twitch if you're on Twitch, but I'll go to Streamlabs. Streamlabs is like the way you could easily get to me. Ruri dissed me? No, he didn't. Ruri di- Ruri dissed me? Tap, please get me that clip. I'm down to crash out tonight. Ruri, I told you, you shouldn't mention me if you don't want